Hey, this is Roger Eastlick, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the uh, Genesis Responsive Slider for the StudioPress Genesis framework, and this is going to be the agency theme, but it should work on any of the um, any of the Genesis child themes. Okay, so first, what we're going to do, so we're going to go over here to another one of my installs. This is a, a blank install of uh, of WordPress and what we're going to do is we're going to fix this up a little bit. First thing we're going to do is we're going to install Genesis. So I'm going to log, I've already logged in. I'm going to go down here to the, uh, going to go down here to themes, click on themes. Then I'm going to go over here to install themes and click on upload. Click on choose file. Now this assumes that you've already um, downloaded it right here. I've downloaded it and I'm going to click on the file Genesis 1.82. That's the theme framework itself. And I'm going to click on install now and activate. Now just remember that you always have to have Genesis, Genesis installed, the theme framework, before you can install any of the child themes. So basically, you know, your theme framework gives you a lot more um, control and uh, uh, over the look and feel of uh, the WordPress itself and it's good for blogs as well as business sites and then the child themes within Genesis you know give you a sort of a fresh a straight out of the box um, something that's usable and uh, looks really cool so now I'm also going to click over here to install themes again click on upload uh, click on choose file I'm going to go into my child themes and grab the agency. Click on the agency zip file. Click on open and install now. And now I'm going to activate the agency child theme. See, now you can see that it's there. But what it actually is going to look like is it comes straight out of the box. It looks more like this. Okay, so there's no slider there. What we're going to do is put in the Genesis Responsive Slider plugin and configure a couple and set up a couple articles so that it looks just like you see it here in this picture. So, to do that, what we're going to do first is we're going to create some pages real quick. Actually, create some posts. And uh, let's see, let's go over here to New Post. I've got some text all prepared here so it goes faster. I'm going to put in the title. And I'm going to put in some sample task text. And then I'm going to actually put in the uh, more uh, more tag here which splits it up. And you'll see in a minute what I'm talking about. This top part will be um, on the slider and then you have to click through to see the rest of the post. So I just put my cursor over here and click on the more. Uh, tag and now I'm going to go down here a cursor and get rid of the extra space and and I am going to I'm going to publish this but actually I forgot one thing I need to create a new category category over here and what we're going to do is we're actually just going to uh, I'm just going to rename this category to be uh, slider. All right, and click on update category. You you can just do that. That was the default, and I had actually changed it to training, so you can just rename that. Um, what I'm going to do is actually see if I can get to posts. Um, this one right here, I'm going to trash. It was just one I'd written for before. Okay, so I'm going to add another post. I need two more posts in here. So let me do that real quick. So the second post, and we're going to actually use the same uh, simple text. This actually comes from this text actually comes from the agency theme sample web page. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to do, once again. I'm going to put the more tag in, fix this, and uh, make sure it's got the slide. It's in the slider category. I'm going to publish that. One more article. So 
So I'm going to click on Add New again. Grab the sample text. Scroll up here, click over here, click on the More tag. Fix the spacing. Click on the slider category and Publish. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go over here to All Posts because I may have one that's not, I do. They're all in the slider category. They're all there. That's great. So the next, next step is going to be to go ahead and create and to uh, install the slider. So the way you do that is you're going to go down here to, um, it's going to be a plugin. Go down to Plugins, Add New. We're going to search for the Genesis Responsive Slider. Just search, click on Search. Right here at the top, Genesis Responsive Slider. Install now. I'm going to click that and click OK. Activate the plugin. And now I'm going to go over here. I can either go, I'm going to go over here to, uh, actually it's under Genesis and then Slider Settings. Uh, there is one thing I forgot to do though. Let's see. So anyway, I'm going to, it, it, the settings on this page. We want to make it so that it's. Uh, we want to change this by tax, tax, taxonom taxonomy and terms. We're going to change this to slider. Um, we're going to go down to. Um, we're going to click on display under content content settings. Under uh, we're going to click next to display post page title in the slider. We do that. We're going to change the slider excerpt in percentage to thirty. And we're going to get rid of these brackets because they're ugly. And I think there's one more thing I need to do. Yeah, right here, select one of the following under content settings. I want to display post content. Okay, I think I'm good. I click on save settings. And now what I have to do is actually we have to go back to the posts. And I need to. Um, I actually need to go back to each one of these and scroll down here and set a featured image. Click on fe set a feature image, click on select files, I'm going to go up here and I've got some images and this is teamwork so that would be this one. Crunching, okay we're going to scroll down here. We want the full size uh, and use this fe featured image. Done. About that. Um, good. Yeah, save all changes. Okay. Should be good. We're going to do that with the other ones as well. We're going to go back. Teamwork makes it stronger. We're going to click on this one. Go down here. Click on Set Featured Image. Select File. Um, I think that was slider three. Crunching. Full sized. Uses featured image. Done. Don't worry about that. Click OK. Save all changes. All right. Good there. So let's see. Let me help your business exactly. All right. So all posts one more time. Go down here to get better customer relations. Same thing. Going to go down here and click on set featured image. Select files. Slider one. And use this featured image. It should be good. Just like that. All right. You know, this is interesting. I don't know. I may may need to have updated updated the, the uh, update the post as well. We'll find out. See what happens here. If I go into one of the other ones, back into here, teamwork makes it stronger. No, I think it's good. I think it's good at this point. Uh, we should be good to go. So let's see what happens if we go and visit the site. All right, how about if we do this? All right, not so much, huh? 
Uh, let's see. Oh, all right. There's one more thing I forgot. Okay, so we're going to go back here to the widgets area. And you're going to go up here to the... Um, to the home slider and we're going to go over here and find the responsive slider and we're going to drag and drop this into the uh, home slider and save that now let's see how we're going how we're doing and there you go there we go. I don't know. Let's see here. Got kind of gummed up, didn't it? This is looking pretty good, except for the continue reading button. It's kind of messed up. So let's take a look and see real quick what's going on there. Uh, let's see. So we made it in the uh, home slider. Check something real quick. All right, let's go back to the. Uh, let's go back and take a look one more time at the slider settings. Uh, I may have missed something here. This is 30 limit characters two. I think we need to get rid of that. Maybe that was it. All right, now let's see what happens. Okay, that's better. There you go. So there you go. One, two, and three. So that was how to uh, configure the Genesis responsive slider for the Studio Press Genesis theme framework. This is Roger Eastlake. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day.